my dreaming soap welcome to my channel this is another soap in my little series that i'm doing about the stages of earth and life on earth that sort of thing now for this soap i'm going to be doing sort of a, a spin on evolution you know i'm sure you've seen it the classic picture of when you've got man evolving and coming from um, an ape or a gorilla that sort of thing as mankind evolves so that's the idea that we're taking for this soap now fun bit with this soap as i said i'm sure you've all seen these type of images where you've got you know, <laughs> the change into a human being and what i've done with this soap is i've challenged another soap maker so <laughs> complete Prize, and I sent her a set of extruder discs for the first three parts of the soap so um, the monkey to man type thing going through but without the man and by man I mean obviously mean human <laughs> the human on the end now the person that I've challenged here is Amy from Elysian Acres Soap I'm going to leave a link to her channel and everything below in the description and also to her Instagram because she's got a great Instagram page. So I sent Amy some discs and I said the challenge for her is to create the fourth thing, the fourth embed in the soaps and maybe we can make this a little bit amusing where we've got looking at modern times and sometimes when you see images of these you see things like a human on a skateboard or scrunched over a computer or something like that so that's the bit that's up to amy to do in her soap and i'm going to do a different end figure in my soap and see what we come up with so that's the idea of today's soap so come on let's go and make some soap this is going to be a pretty quick video well I think so but I haven't actually started the soap yet because it's apart from making the embeds for this soap it's pretty straightforward to put together so a reasonably short one I think first thing I'm going to do is I want to extrude some embeds and put them together so I'm not going to do it all on screen because I'm sure you've seen me extruding before first thing I've done is I've created my spaceman now my spaceman is going to all be in white and i've created him in three bits just so he'll actually fit together properly he's going to have a little black visor but apart from that going to be all white so i've kneaded up some soap down i'm just going to put it into my large extruder that you can buy from the i dream in soap website and i do loads and loads and loads of great discs Okay, and it just allows you to create much larger designs than you can with the small extruders. Okay, I also sell lots of discs for the small extruders as well. one part of my spaceman extruded so I'm just going to carry on with the same process one thing to check is when you're doing something that's a bit more complicated just try and keep it as straight as possible I'm just going to trim this a bit so I can re-extrude the excess okay so that's the main body of my spaceman I need to do this is going to be his arm and the bit of a flag and this is sort of the second part of the flag that is sticking in the ground so I'm just going to do those
extruded so let's now make up my base color it's all going to be one color so I'm just going to measure in the mica that I need this is shimmer blue from mica mama and then to that I'm adding some predispersed titanium dioxide Now these are just my oils at the moment, so let's just give this a blend round. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. It will go a little bit lighter as we actually turn it into soap, so that will be good. Hey, mister, thank you. a little bit of prep work on these embeds now I changed my mind with my spaceman here and I've taken it apart because it was really fiddly to actually get some soap in between the gaps so what I'm going to do is put some soap in there first and then build the spaceman between it and then also things like for example my first embed that's going in it's got lots of little well of course four little legs and those could be quite difficult because they're going to be going obviously down into the soap with the legs down it's going to be difficult to make sure that they're full of soap without any gaps so I've made up some soap here I'm going to use a squeeze bottle just so I can get into all these little gaps Now this will be a little bit messy to do <laughs> but I just want to as much as I can get something into these embeds before they go into the soap. This has my fragrance oil in it, my fragrance oil I'm using is Sauvage or Savage so I thought that was quite appropriate for what we've got here. I'm sort of overfilling that so that I'm hoping that it will actually support this other bit of the space man. Okay, so that's my space man sandwiches. Okay, so I'm going to leave those now just to set up so I can move them reliably and then all I've just got to do is, is pour round these shapes as I pop them into the mould. So what I've got here in this little jug is I scraped up all the excess, <laughs> excess off my Spaceman sandwiches. <laughs> this is why a bit thick and then I've just poured out a little bit more oil and lye and mix those up let's put that fragrance oil in and I'm just going to put this in just as a little bit of a base layer so I can let this thicken up before the rest of the soap so that I've got some support for my embeds okay so let's get this mould and let's just get this layer just poured straight in Okay, 
so that's going to be fine so I'm just going to get that to set up a bit so it will support my embeds without them sinking straight through to the bottom I'm hoping we're set up enough now to give our embeds a little bit of support so let's take those embeds got my spaceman sandwich now I didn't cut this so it would all line up nicely oh, that's a good one there and then was it this one to there I think that's it right so I want my spaceman to go in nice and close to the edge this is going to be a really really tight fit to get all of these in okay so that's soap hopefully set up enough now to give these a little bit of support okay so there's our spaceman so then before that let's make sure we get these embeds in the right order we want our sort of neanderthal like we are caveman with his club Woo, nearly dropped him Okay, and then lastly, let's get our black one in, make sure they're all facing around the right way. Okay, so yeah, super tight there. Okay, <laughs> goodness me. They're in there quite squishy, so I've got to be really careful as I pour the rest of my soap to make sure that I get that filled up nicely. Let's get this very final layer poured in then. So I've got some nice thin soap, just so I can make sure I get in between all of these very tiny little gaps that I've got. let this set up a little bit again just to hold these embeds really firm okay so I'm just going to leave that for a little while let that top set up a bit tiny bit because I want to do a swirl on the top but I think at the moment if I add anything to the top then it's literally just going to drop straight through and I don't want that. I've got some very small amounts of soap here that I've just coloured with some of the colours that I've used on the inside and I'm just going to use these to try and get what I want on the top. Okay, <laughs> so just some 
not supposed to be completely straight lines but just some sort of sort of straight lines there and then I'm going to try and do sort of like a DNA swirl I have no clue if this will work so I think I just need to You're not really sure if we're going to see much here. Okay, I think I did my first swirl a little bit too tight. So basically I've ended up with a big peacock swirl going down the slope. But hey... That looks pretty, shall I leave it like that? Ooh. I think so, I think it looks quite cute. I'm going to leave it like that with my peacock swirl, just for the top. So let's get this covered and pop it away overnight. Here's our soap the next day, so let's get it cut, shall we? what we've got I am a little bit concerned that maybe you know the space one's fallen apart or something or that the embeds are all a bit tipped over on wonky but I did take a lot of care in putting them in um, and made sure I put some solid soap around them so well, let's go right to the end here and see what we've got ah oh yes I really like that that's come out really cute ah oh, good it's quite it was quite a simple soap to actually put them in the mould apart from making sure the embeds and everything were all straight but other than that I think it's come out really well <laughs> and actually getting those embeds in and making the embeds was actually quite tricky to do I was actually going to do originally I was going to do all the previous bits before the, uh, the spaceman I was going to do them all in black but I actually didn't have enough activated charcoal so that's why I changed the colours on them but I do actually really like the fact that I've got all those different colours let's have a look at one right from the end yes I'm really pleased I think that's going to say quite simple and it smells nice I've used that Sauvage Sauvage or Savage fragrance so mm, quite a nice sort of I'd say more masculine smell, more aftershavey type smell rather than something pretty and floral. So yeah, I do really like those actually. As I said, the background on that isn't tricky, but I'm pleased with those. And then I'll leave you with a final photo of the soap. And don't forget to go and see what Amy's done with her soap. I'll leave all the links to Amy's social media in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you like the soap. If you have, it would be great if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see what I'm making in the future, why not subscribe to my channel? Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Happy soaping!